Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talk about the E functions where I extensively did some argument to justify my condition if target was met or not using yes or no in the logical argument window. Today, we are going to take E function several steps further. So, I am going to introduce you to another concept here called nesting functions. Good. And in doing so, we are going to revisit the if functions and I am going to introduce you to another function that is going to allow us to take the if functions and apply multiple conditions and multiple logical tests. And this function that I am thinking about is called hand. Take a look. Here is the example that I want to walk you through. So I am still inside the same exercise file. I have got the target. I have got the target met here, which is what yes, yes, no, no, no. That's great. Now, what I want to figure out is whether or not this individual car make met the production word production status. Now, what is the production status here? Well, I'm going to make something up here. Just listen to this. In order for each car make right here, car make rightly individually to have an additional production status that is uh, they don't have to make production in here they need to do five things one they have to have met the target production right here okay so right hope inside was target met here we already know three of them three of them did not meet what the target which is what the Volkswagen Honda and what the Pontiac bike because they did not meet the what the uh, monthly target which was set in the argument window in my last video tutorial well that's just one condition was set so in other words they also need to have met or produced Let's say 100 units of production each week hmm? or more, that is in week one, week two, week three, and what week four. So, five things here. The first one is they have to have met the target, right? And secondly, each on each week, week one, week two, week three, and week four, they had to have produced more than what. 100 units of car make hope to catch that all this all those analysis i'm giving out so this is five things that is the first one is target and the second one is well four weeks all right but you know what a standard if functions only allow us to for only one conditions that is only one logical test to be evaluated well i've got five different things that i want to evaluate here then you know what i'm going to streamline it even more and i'm going to say there are more than two things and i will explain it explain it more a lot here now this is going to involve tweaking the if functions a little bit to get it to the to do more for us then we're going to do this by taking another function something called the hand function and nesting it within the if function now take a look take a look so i'm going to do the make production right make production right here status first in respect of what the toyota toyota inside of my own say i5 now i'm going to start with E functions and I'm going to I'm, I'm looking actually I'm looking for a condition in such that I 
want one or two things to happen here either they made the production status right here or not that then i'm going to start with the word the if function so i'm going to click on the word the say i5 then navigate towards to my words formula tab you can see it right up here then to a logical folder you can see then i will look for if you can see then i'm going to grab that good i'm going to grab that good then i'm going so once i have done that this open up my function argument window where i have got three things three different arguments here that is the logical test the value of true if true and the value if is false now remember a standard if functions only allow us to perform one evaluation evaluation that is one logical test well i need multiple one and in order for me to do that i'm going to type in inside the word the logical test i'm going to type hand and open up my parentheses however hand is another microsoft excel function and it does one thing for us that is it allows us to evaluate multiple tests meaning that is this true and is this true and is this true you can do up to 255 tests using the ham function now to help us visually see this so i'm going to go up to our, my formula tab right here then i'm going to click where it says hand you can see this will change my function argument window you can see and to the hand functions i have got two tests which is which are what logical one and logical two in there but down below you can see that you can up up to 255 logical condition you can set in there now i'm going to specify my condition firstly i will go to my logical one then click on it then second secondly i will go to my h5 right here let me drag let me bring it down i'm going to my h5 right here you can see my h5 right here good so i'm going to click on it on the cell good where they have made the target so i'm going to click which i have already which i have already done then then hover back to my logical test one you can see it now then i will type in equal to then open up my quotes then type in yes then close my quotes good now that is my false logical argument note make sure you first open a quote before you type in yes and close your quote when typing yes good in my logical two though we have got potentially five logical tests here to perform from my condition for the test but i'm going to stream it down to two now if you notice when i click on the word the logical two it gives me an, a, a logical three essentially you can do up to 255 condition in in the now to streamline this condition for me for more at least to treat up the for more logical tests remember i also need to check whether each week each week right here they made more than 100 let me say okay let me let me say 100 100 100 units in a week well i could do it individually or I can auto fill all the week by dragging it to the word week four. All right. 
However, there is a function that the pro and that the probably provides for us inside of our Excel called min. It stands for minimum, and all it needs is a range of cell. So what I am going to do here is that I will type in min right in the word in the logical two box here okay and open up my parentheses okay good now what this means is that if the minimum of, of this group of say that is b5 to what e5 you can see then close my parentheses dude that is b5 and c5 which is represented by one toyota is greater than or equal to what is greater than or equal to what 100 good unit of what toyota weekly production good so the con the condition now is after going through all the four values it should find the smallest value from what b5 or to e5 and compare it against my 100 units of toyota weekly production so rather than doing this individually by checking for b5 c5 d5 and e5 and so on if it is greater than 100 so i'm going to nest i'm going to nest another function inside of what the main function which is what the hand good which is with the hand which is okay good and which is also inside of what the if function that will figure out what smaller value is and then compare it with what the 100 units wow i love this creating more dynamic calculation by nesting function within the within a, a function now i'm done with the hand function right here then i'm going to go back to my formula bar right up here at the top then click inside of the one the if function you can see good if function so you can see now in the so and this brings out our former if function argument now i need to finish up this if function that is the value if true function uh, function there and the one the value if fourth function there so if this is true then i will say make production just following me up okay in my and if it is not true then i'm going to to say no production good that is it so i'm going to go ahead and hit my what my okay button you can see so i'm going to drag it down using the word my auto fill right at the corner right here you can see let me drag it down good looking at this result first car car make that is the toyota met all the production world status because they all made 100 units of each weekly and also met for the targets that is yes so the second car make which is what passat met the target which is the yes but didn't meet what the production status let's see in week one you can see that only 99 units of production uh, and production were made, was made in the world in the week one and in my logical argument it was set at 
100. So they didn't meet us what meet up to the world to the production status. Try this out. Jump into any of your report sheet, create if for such condition, and use hand to nest it for multiple conditions. And if you like, bring in the main your main argument, just like the way we select selected the word is said B5 down to word E5 so that you can check for all the four weeks in one condition. Try this out. Bye. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I'll give, keep giving you more of the exchange functions. Bye.